Greetings, YouTubians, and welcome back to Wayne Sharp World, where today we have another brand new budget EDC to take a look at from this company right here, Vosti Cutlery. And let me tell you, we have a uh, pretty nice one here. This is the Vosti Corsair. Now, before I go any further into this review, I'd like to thank you guys for tuning in today. If you like what you see, please do me a huge favor. Hit that subscribe button, follow along, and I will continue to bring you the content. Now, let's take a look at some overall specs on this knife right here. We have an overall length coming in at 7.58 inches with a blade length coming in at 3.25 inches and a blade thickness at your standard 120 thousandths. Blade material on this guy is Nitro V, so a very nice budget steel to have on this guy. A uh, drop point style blade, a flat grind, handle length coming in at 4.33 inches with a handle thickness right around a half inch coming in at 492 thousandths. We have some pretty nice micarta for the handle material, a crossbar lock that is not like the rest. This one is considerably different, different and we'll touch on that later in the review. Uh, we have a user of a right or left hand tip up carry, lefties rejoice. I feel like there's been a little more snub on lefties this year. so. Always nice to see the lefty option here. And we have a weight of 2.91 ounces and a price of a very reasonable, very nice $69. So yeah, from a material standpoint, no issue there with the price. And uh, you're getting a pretty good looking knife too, in my opinion. I'm, I'm a big fan of this design. There's a lot of designs similar to it. Um, definitely don't think they really stole any of that designs because I actually have all of the knives that this reminds me of right over here, and we're gonna do some size comparisons with them. Of course, starting out with the Benchmade Bug Out, um, which really is still a great knife, uh, just maybe not for 180, 60 bucks with Grivery scales, but moving on. Uh, we have the Kaiser Drop Bear. So yeah, as you can see, it's longer than the Drop Bear, but it's very close, very close to that Benchmade Bug Out. Um, but yeah, a bunch of knives here with nice crossbar locks, Great blades, nice handles, good build quality, uh, good stuff there. But the one knife that this Corsair reminds me of the most, and you probably all know what's coming, is this guy right here, the Hogue Decca. And I'm going to bring out both of my Deccas because you guys probably know I'm a pretty big Hogue fan. They make some phenomenal American-made knives. And I have both of my Deccas out here because you have to kind of put these two Deccas together it, ironically, these two decas were at one point together. This blade came with this handle, and the handle for this got thrown away because it was like cheap polymer. But anyway, um, the handle of the original deca is the closest thing I have to remind me of the handle of the Corsair. And of course, the blade for the deca is kind of similar, but you also have a clip point and a drop point. So while there are still some significant similarities, they're also still pretty different blades. And then the handle of this guy is really, really comparable. I actually can, uh, I prefer the handle of the the Corsair a little more over the Deca simply because it's rounded and smooth right here. As to where this grip here kind of forces you to hold the Deca in your hand, really just like this. You you can choke up a little, but then you feel like this point on your finger, and it's it's not terrible. I mean, you could use it in a pinch, but it doesn't feel good. As to where this feels good in this position. And it also feels pretty good in this position as well with, with no point down there. So um, worth noting there, do slightly prefer this. I mean, of course I love my Decas. There's a reason I have two of them. Um, but yeah, this Corsair is pretty impressive. Um, the blade itself is nice and slicey, 16 thousandths behind the edge and just a really good looking drop point. I really love the lines of this. Um, and I think a lot of that has to do with my love for the Deca, but they took that clip point and made it a drop point. They have a nice little swedge up here that just complements the top of the blade very well. And they got jimping up here that works very well. So you have some nice tacky jimping if you need to use that. They have thumb studs that are well placed and look like they belong on the blade. That's that's a big thing. That There's been some knives lately that I really do enjoy and I truly like. But I feel like the thumb studs were just slightly off whack. They looked a little off-centered or not where they should be as to where this blade is... Uh, Pretty much budget perfection, in my opinion. Um, you have a pretty decent plunge grind. Nothing crazy special, but it will work because you have a nice deep choil here. So I don't really... Sit, I don't think you'd have a huge issue with smiles on this one. It'd be close, but I don't think it would be too bad. Um, going into the handle, 
This is where it gets really good and really different because we're talking about the handle and then we're also talking about this crossbar lock, which is not like your DECA or your bug out or your drop bear. Um, it's very much its own crossbar lock, I think. Um, but the Micarta is very nice. Love, love, love that brass pop on the pivot collar looks really good. Love what they're doing with their pocket clips, fully recessed. You got a lot more space back there. Um, they've made significant improvements, Vosteed has, since the beginning of their brand and, and the way their clips used to be. These clips have gotten much, much better, and I, I do commend them for that because, uh, you know, it's one thing to make great knives that everyone's buying. It's another thing to make changes to those great knives when people are still buying them because you, sometimes you feel like you may not have to, you know. They're selling, they're good, people love them, why change it? Well, they realize that there's room for improvement, so kudos to them for that. But this crossbar lock, this is what really makes this knife different. So let me bring back the bug out. And as you can see, those uh, crossbar lock studs are completely in line with the handle. That's not a bad thing. I'm not knocking any of these knives. As you can see on the drop bear, it sticks out a little more. So that sticks out the most. We'll hold that one up here for now. And then we'll bring the, uh, the more baseline handles with the studs out. And as you can see, they're sticking out a little. So... I would say, yeah, definitely the studs are sticking out more in the drop bear. So now let's compare the studs on the Corsair to the drop bear. I mean, noticeable, significant difference in terms of just how much is sticking out there. Look at that. I mean, you have a lot more, a lot more of a grip on these studs, or a lot more, a lot more studs sticking out from the knife. And that's not a bad thing. Let me tell you why. Because one, it makes it very, very easy to kick this blade in and out, whether you're using those studs or using the thumb studs and then just closing it with that. It makes it very effortless. You don't have to reach around or worry about not correctly grabbing these studs. You know when your hand's in your hand, it's, or when your hand's in your hand. When this knife is in your hand and you are just reaching up for these studs with your finger, it's very, very intuitive to grab those studs and open it. And another thing they did here that I really like is they kept the top rounded really well. So you don't have to worry about this poking you or feeling uncomfortable in the pocket or messing up your fingers. Um, it's rounded really well at the top and there's very fine, um, kind of like the stair step jimping and milling down here on the thumb studs that make it just right. Um, really, really good job on these studs. They're very comfortable, they're very easy to use. And another thing that makes this crossbar lock very different is the strength of the uh, the springs that actually, you know, pull the crossbar down and up and, you know, open and close the blade. Uh, considerably stronger blade. And I don't believe, mm -hmm. well, let's see here. Is there? I, I don't think there is. It, okay, I guess that looks like there is three holes to adjust the spring. Is that really it? Yeah, yeah, it is. So you do have three holes to adjust the spring. As you can see right there, there's those holes. Um, but I, I, I'm a little torn here because this is a noticeably stronger tension Um than I've experienced on really any of the other knives you saw, the bug out, the drop bear, the decas. Um, this is noticeably stronger in spring action than those. And I like it. I really do. Um, I think it, it makes me put a little more, uh, you know, flick into it, but it really sends that blade out. It's kind of like, what am I trying to compare it to? Like just fine tuning something. I may disassemble this and try the medium setting. I'm assuming this is set at the strong set, strong setting. It, it has to be because like I said, these are, uh, considerably stronger than any other crossbar, uh, lock knives I've ever handled, but I, I like it. I mean, I really do like it, which I'm kind of debating whether or not I even want to go through the hassle of disassembling it because it's, it's something I did have to get used to because when you first get this and you go to flick it, you might uh, you might think it's like stiff on you or the action's not good. No, the spring's just stronger. So if you get yours and it is stiff, I would definitely, the first thing I do is probably adjust the tension on those springs, but I really like this as is. The action's very smooth. Um, the thumbs, the crossbar studs are really a game changer in terms of just how easy it is to kick that blade out and close it or, you know, kick it out, close it. Uh, very nice, very easy to do, and just a really good looking knife. I mean, this really takes everything I like of the DECA 
and even the bug out because I like the bug out. I, I really still do. But this is more of like a refined version of both of those. A very different knife, similar size, obviously. And you, when you get to a point to where you have a crossbar lock and a drop point blade and somewhat of a neutral handle, knives are going to start looking the same. And that's going to keep happening. That is definitely going to keep happening because they're not going to stop making knives. So um, I don't have any issue with any similarities. I actually like how this is more refined. It is a little sleeker. It has a little rounder lines. And uh, someone on Instagram said there's a little more, uh, a, a little less uh, thickness down in the bum of the knife, <laughs> which is pretty funny. Um, but very true. Uh, it definitely gets a little slender down towards the handle, and that really does kind of complement the grip on this guy. I do prefer kind of choking up a little here, but I've also used it a lot like this as well. If you have wider hands, you're probably going to want to choke up. If you got, you know, regular, average, or smaller hands, this is going to feel really good for you because the handle is fully contoured. Um, nice finish on the micarta and very smooth action. Th this for me, uh, this one's a no-brainer. It, it's no, it's no surprise because Vosti has been like absolutely on a tear this year. And if you think this one's good, you just wait. You just wait because they have got some more. They got some premiums coming down the line. They have more budgets coming. Um, this is a really, really big year for Vosti, and I think a lot of people are taking notice. Um, and yeah. Very, very good stuff. Let me know what you guys think of this Corsair. I really hope you enjoyed this one. Hope you have a great rest of your day. And until the next one, I'm out.